Australiums are really cool. And I made a video a little while ago about what other weapons I think should be Australian. And I think I also said in that video that I wanted to eventually do a community choice version of that one as well. And if I didn't say it in that video, I meant to. So that is basically what we're going to be doing today. I asked you guys on my Discord server what Australian weapons you would like to see. And I got so, so many answers. So I want to talk about the most popular ones. Really quickly before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys to make sure that if you enjoy my content and you're new around here, to click the subscribe button. I'm working really hard to hit 100k and your sub could massively help me get there. Also, I will be live streaming as soon as this video goes live. So check out my Twitch link. It's in the description or it's like the pinned comment and come and hang out in the live stream. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, let's talk about some Australian weapons. So the first weapon I saw literally the most out of every single weapon I saw get put in my Discord today it was the Iron Bomber. Now, I think I definitely agree with this. I think this thing would look absolutely insane with a mix of gold and black on it. It's a super good looking gun anyway, and making it Australian sounds like an amazing idea. I love using it. I've been playing demo a little bit more recently, and actually at one point I looked into potentially getting an unusual Iron Bomber, but I never pulled the trigger. An Australian one though, I would buy in a heartbeat. Next up, we have the Hamshank. I was pretty much expecting this one. One of the most popular weapons in the game next to the frying pan. So no wonder people want to see a golden one of these. I was going to say that I have no idea how it would look or how they do it. But I, I know there are like certain places you can go that have edible gold on certain foods that they're there. Which I think is a little bit weird. But you could do it the same way that they would do it, I guess. And make it look like that. Just edible gold on a TF2 ham shank. Just, it just sounds odd. But honestly, it's not like the furthest thing away from reality. People put gold on food for some reason because they just have that money to throw away, I guess. But I think a golden ham shank would be cool. It'd be very, very expensive, but also very, very cool. Next, I saw a lot of people talking about getting an Australian market gardener. Now, this one would be amazing. Even though I can't actually market garden, imagine Soundsmith or Golden Eyes or someone like that who can market garden flying around with their golden shovel and hitting someone as they land. It would be amazing. It's like the troll just suddenly came into a whole load of money or something and decided to gold plate his favorite weapon for no reason other than just to make it look cool, which I guess is pretty much all like the Australian weapons are there for. I think it would actually be pretty amazing to see a golden market gardener. I never used to think it would be that good of an idea, but now that I'm thinking about what it would look like, I would be very excited to see one. I also saw a lot of people actually agreeing with me with the shotgun and the pistol idea, which was quite nice. I'm glad I'm not the only person who wants those, but if you did watch my last video, that's basically me talking about both of those weapons separately. So if I went on about it in this video, it'd just be a waste of time and I'd be repeating myself. But I'm glad I'm not the only person who wants to see these ones in the game. And in fact, I think that's the one most people agreed with me on. This next one is quite interesting, and that is the Kunai. This would look insane in gold. Again, I don't play Spy, and when I do, I don't use the Kunai. But again, I definitely would if there was an Australian version of it. It's a really, really cool looking weapon, even when it's not golden. And it's a really fun Spy weapon to use when you're on a roll with it, and you actually know what you're doing as Spy. Unfortunately for me, sometimes my brain just stops working when playing Spy and I end up looking through my inventory instead of disguising as whoever I was last and then I die because I've mixed up B and N or something. I feel like Spy is the only class that I should probably change my binds for because I, I struggle a little bit having the disguise button right next to my check loadout button, which, yeah, it doesn't work well for me. And finally, we have the Jurati. Now, Again, I'm not really surprised, but the Jurati is already like pretty golden. What would the sniper have to be drinking to produce, I guess, this Australian Jurati? And then surely whatever he's drinking probably isn't very good for him and will kill him after not too long. So, I mean, is it worth it? Is it worth killing the sniper just to get some golden piss? Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys would say yes. Um, and I don't know if I disagree with you. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really quickly want to say thank you again for everyone in the Discord for helping me out with these types of videos. And if you're one of those people who aren't in my Discord server, you should join it. It's quite fun. You get alerts when my videos go live. You get to join in with videos like this. And there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that is going to be in there quite soon. 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe if you're new. It would mean a lot to me. And come by and check out my live stream down below. I'm going to be chilling out and playing some TF2. So it'd be awesome if you guys showed up. Anyway, thanks once again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.